We're playing the brand new SnowRunner DLC. It's Season 8 Grand Harvest. This brings a whole new map, but also farming. And I can't wait to see what farming is like in this new DLC. So we're on the brand new map. It's called the Belazorsk Glades in Central Asia. And we're going to start the farming mission. So the first thing we're going to do is some Harvest Corp. It's called uh, the Beast Rising. We have got to unlock this Kiravet K700 at the scrapyard, which is a tractor. So listen up, the new tractors we've ordered are taking their sweet time reaching us here. So I have to improvise. I'm told there's a, an old tractor nearby that might still be somewhat functional. It'll have to do for now. Now all I've got to do is drive down the road and go there to the scrapyard. I'm going to activate the mission and let's go. So this um, new DLC brings farming to Stone Runner or Mud Runner or whatever for the very first time. And I'm going to be interested to see how it compares to Farming Simulator because obviously Farming Simulator's physics have always kind of let it down but this could be quite cool. Now we've got four brand new four kilometer square maps, um, three new vehicles including some heavy duty trucks and I think a couple of tractors and yeah let's see what the first tractor is like. This is my Bandit by the way it's quite a cool truck I think you can just buy it in the vanilla game. Okay here we go. Is that it there? No, it's not. The tractor's over there. So we've got to deliver it to the garage. Now, to be honest, what I usually do is I go to wherever the vehicle is, swap to it, and then just click recover. So it's not that tractor there, although it does look quite cool. Whoa, we're tipping upside. Down there, we're fine. Through the mud. This thing actually isn't that bad. It's um, got the maintenance body on it, so I can, like, repair stuff and fuel it up. Here we go. There it is. Oh, yes. I can see. It looks good. It's got very wide wheels. Um, it doesn't actually look like a tractor to me. What is it? Yeah, I guess it is a tractor. Okay, here we go. So, what we do, we go change truck. No? Change truck? Really? I'm. Oh, hang on. Was that it? I, I think I've got to drag it. Okay, so... The garage is over here. How am I going to get it back? Have I really got to drag it out? Oh my goodness. Come on, one more try. Nope. Okay, dragon time. Right. Um, how the heck? What about if I put it out that way? Go on then. Let's try and pull it out this way. Or I could try and repair it. Would that work? Repair... Um, the Kiravets. Has it got fuel? You see, it's not in bad condition though. Look, wheels, gas tank, engine, they're all fine. So refuel, how about refuel? No, it's full of fuel. That's really weird. I've got to pull it out. Okay, whatever. So, attach winch. Boom. Here we go. It is actually working. Turn on the engine on the winch truck. Yes. Yes! Here we go. Is this even a road out? I've no idea. We're just going to follow this path. It does actually look like a road out, which is good. So here we go, our first tractor. Let's make sure it doesn't tip, tip over. And yeah, you've got to like do potato harvesting. Um, I think there's other, I think there's like sunflower crops. It's pretty awesome. Okay, we're nearly back. The garage is only there, so going pretty well. Oh yeah. Right, turn out of here. And then we can start some farming. Okay, we've got to get it through the gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it a bit closer so it's nice and tight to the rear. Whoa, come on. Oh, oh dear, that was bad. Reverse. There we go. And now we can pull it in, deliver it there. And then, I think we've got to go and find some kind of field to plough. I'm guessing that the implements will be over there. Um, here we go. Do I just drag it in here? Or what? Whoa! Accept. Show rewards. There you go. We have the Kiravets K700. So, if can I just... Yes, look. Oh, my goodness. We're in the, we're in the tractor. Big horn. Oh, look at the interior. Oh, that looks good. All the dials are moving and stuff. Yeah, I like it. Right. Recover. 
to the garage. There we go. Let's try and customize it. So we've just got one engine, suspension stock. Um, all the tires look fairly similar to me. Should we, should we give it these ones? Because they've got exactly the same on road and oh, sorry, off road and mud. No, they don't. Oh no, they do. But it's got good on road performance. So yeah, let's have that one. Winch, extended now stock. Uh, right, stock wheel fenders. Well, that's just the thing for the um, implements attachment on the back. We don't want that, and we don't want that. But I guess you can load what, logs with that. Okay, rims. They're all fairly similar. Colour. Can we give it a nice colour scheme? Oh, yes. Oh, I like that one. I like that a lot. Bobble heads. We're just going to ignore all this. Um, oh, an exterior sticker on the front. Warning. Uh, oh, goodness. I don't know. It's my way with a lion. Sure. There we go. Right. So what mission do we do now? Okay, actually, there's this mission here, which is called Sample Field. Right, that thing looks kind of scary, but we're not here for a beauty contest either. Let's make sure it's actually able to cover all the basics. Cultivating, harvesting, you know the drill. So we're going to deliver to the sample field a cultivator. Then cultivate the field. Deliver to the sample field a planter. Okay, so we've got to do all of this. Right, where would the cultivator be? There. Right, so we've got to go out of here. Down this track. All the way over there. And to the field. Okay, let's do this. Now we're actually going to start some farming. Whoa! This thing is a beast on the mud! Look at this! We're going to be there in no time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm loving it. That's just in automatic mode. And we are absolutely storming over this muddy terrain. Okay, we're going left here. The turning circle's pretty good as well, look. Yeah, not bad. It has like an articulated um, chassis. Which you don't see on a lot of tractors. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm interested to see what the physics are going to be like. Mud physics in Farming Simulator are pretty terrible. In fact, they're almost non-existent, I think. Um, so, this could make the, the farming a bit more realistic and a bit more challenging. There's a field there you can plough. Um, I think all the crops are dead. So, you'd need to tear that field down. Um, now, are we going right here? No, we're just going straight on. Oh, my goodness. And as usual, with these maps, it takes probably 30 or 40 or 50 hours to complete one map in this game. It's ridiculous. There's so much to do. I am all over the place right now. Oh my goodness. That is the issue with these articulated chassis. They're quite difficult to control at high speed. Oh, oh, oh. What happened there? Low, let's go low gearbox. Come on. What about high gearbox? That's a bit better. Now, there are lots of tractors and other vehicles dotted around the map, but I don't think you can actually interact with them or drive them. They want something there, but we're not going to go and do that mission. Oh, yeah. We're using up quite a bit of fuel, but I think it'll be okay. See, look at that tractor there. It's got one front wheel. Like a Reliant Robin. That's cool. Or an Abishu Pigeon in. MNG. Right, up, up here, go, go, go. So somewhere along this track is the cultivator we've got to pick up. Okay, there it is. Look at the size of that thing. Come on, get up the hill. Oh, we're nearly there. Come on. Don't hit the tree. Oh my goodness. Right. Don't tip over. Oh dear. That is precarious. Um, just go forward. It gets less steep over here. Come on. Okay. This is not good. Yeah, put... Oh my, what is going on right now? I just completely fell off the road. Okay, reverse. There's a tree right there. Now, can I get out of this? I think we're going to tip over. Come on. Oh, that's... Wow. Okay, right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, reverse. And then I guess we do attach trailer. Boom. Yes. Here we go. And take this to the farm. We have a cultivator. Oh my god. Look at it. It's a lot bigger than a lot of the implements I use in Farming Simulator. Um, this is like a later game cultivator in Farming Simulator. You know, it's one of these really wide ones. Okay. Onto the road. Now I got the highway tyres. 
which should help us get a bit of speed up. And then the field, I think, is just over here. So deliver to the sample field, the cultivator. It's the first field, I guess, we're going to do to prove that the ground is fertile and prove that we can be a proper farmer um, before we start actually selling our goods. Selling our crops. Right, here we go. On to here. Yes. What a beast this thing is. Okay, so deliver onto the field. Do we just put it up here? Yes, I think we do. Stage complete. So now, the thing is... Toggle coupler mode. Right, yeah, we don't want to... We want to go up and down the field, so... Let's go to a good place on the field and then start cultivating. Look at it bouncing. Oh my goodness. Look, the fences are just annoying. Ooh, we don't want to go off that ridge though. Um, so we're going to go up and down. Oh, this is, this is difficult. It's a pretty big tractor. I think it needs to be a bit more compact. Right, here we go. We are now plowing the field, or cultivating it, I should say. There was a bit of fence on there. Yeah, that doesn't look bad, does it? I think we're cultivating it pretty fast. But, um... I look at the top right, it says 10%. Okay. It's going alright so far. How the heck do you turn around at the end? Why would they put fences there so you can't... Cultivate it? Oh my goodness. That's the widest turning circle ever at that speed. Oh yeah, we're ploughing it really fast. We've got a good camera angle here that is actually on top of the cultivator so we can see exactly where we're going. And then if I turn right and we go like around the edges. Oh my goodness. How much of the field do we need to cultivate? I don't think we need to cultivate all of it. Just trying to go up and down. Cover as much of the field as possible. This one, this one. Over here. There's a big section here. We can probably do it all in two, maybe. Yeah, look, already half done. But that's not half the field, is it? Maybe it is. Right, reverse. Oh, it can really turn sharply if you do it at low speed. Yes. And reverse a bit. Okay. And then up here. Yeah, I think we just about covered all of that. Seventy-one percent. Come on. How much more? Oh, I think it is all the field, actually. We don't have to get every blade, do we? I know when, when you're doing a contract in Farm Sim... Oh, there's a... Um, scarecrow. We don't want to hit that. When you're doing fields in Farming Simulator, like for contracts, you don't need to do 100% of the field. And I think that's a good system of doing it, because it's very hard to spot the areas that you haven't completed. Anyway, I don't think it's making us do 100% on this one, which is brilliant. Just uh, mow down the fence. Last few bits, 98%, 99%, there's a bit over here, 100%. There you go. It doesn't look very good, does it? But, um, okay, here we go. Deliver to the sample field a planter. And it's just over there, so it's really close. And we can drop this there. And then the planter. Oh, we're actually going to see the whole caboodle, the whole process. Okay. Oh, look at the grill on the front of that. Goodness me. Right. 
Am I close enough to attach? Too far away. There you go. Right. Deliver to the sample field the planter. Is it full of seeds? I'm guessing it is. Yes, it is. Right, we're now seeding. Oh, wow. Look, they're planted down almost immediately. I don't know. What, what are we planting? Uh... It doesn't actually say what we're planting. Can we see over here? No. It might be potatoes. I guess so. Wow, look at the dust. Oh, it's raining. Good. That'll help fertilise the crops a bit. Right. What happens if we hit the scarecrow? Watch out. Wouldn't you put the scarecrow in after you finish seeding? Oh no, his hat fell off. Oh, we're taking him for a ride now. Oh, he, he disappeared. Damn it. Poor scra scarecrow. So it like automatically sort of um, deploys itself. Yeah, I'm liking it. It gives a very different feeling to this game. It's uh, not the normal sort of farming sim that we're all used to. It's uh, Physics are really important, I think, in farming games. And farming simulators physics really do ruin it sometimes. So to see Sn SnowRunner kind of bringing features of other simulation games into their game when they've got such a brilliant engine and such brilliant physics in the base game, I think it's just such a sensible idea. Such a good idea. Um, you know, it's already a truck simulator. It's already, obviously, a mud physics simulator. Now, we're getting a bit of farming in the game. Okay, we're nearly done the field. And then, what's going to happen with the whole harvest situation? Is it going to be you have to wait months or what? Okay, this field is very nearly complete. Let's try and get it in a straight line. 99%. 100. There we go. So it just kind of all... Um, like, I guess the growth is now finished? Not sure. Let's go and pick up the harvester and then see what happens um, with that process. So here we go. We just need to detach the trailer. Drive along the road. It seems to be all in one location. This little hamlet or tiny village. Um, actually, it's not. It's over there. Okay. It's at the general store. Fine. So yeah, that looks good. Still not entirely sure what kind of crop it is. Maybe it'll tell us in the next, like, missions. Whoa. So yeah, there is a more modern version of this. This is one of the two tractors that comes with the pack. There is a more modern version of this tractor. So it, it probably doesn't have as annoying chassis controls, but... Um, the chassis controls are great on a field, but on road, it's very difficult that we're going everywhere. I was holding right for ages there, and it just wasn't responding. I don't actually know how it works. Is it, is it like mechanical or hydraulic, or when the front wheels turn, do the, does the rear just kind of follow? I don't know. I really don't know how they work. All right, here we go. But we could probably turn around quite easily here. So... Whoa. If we just let it... Yeah, there we go. Lightly tap those corners and there we go. Reverse. So here's the harvester. Whoa! Now if you want to... Oh! There we go. Look at that. It's lifted up. That's really cool. I was going to say, if you want to see me play more of this, I'm totally up for it. Make sure to like the video and comment down below. I might even get into some multiplayer with this. I'm not entirely sure if in this game you, both people who play the multiplayer need the DLC. Because this, this DLC is like brand new. It came out about a week ago. And um, it's not cheap. But um, I actually bought the Season 2 Pass when I bought this DLC. Because it's only like, I think, six or seven pounds more. And you got all of the other DLCs that come out in Season 2. And Season 2 just means the DLC that was released in 2022. And I believe this is the last bit of DLC. 
to come in uh, this year. So we'll have to see. Still got a waypoint. Let's get rid of that. We'll have to see um, if they continue the DLC next year or if they bring out a whole new mud runner, snow runner, whatever. What's the, what would the next one be? Water runner. Nah. They wouldn't do a snow runner game about boats, would they? Right, here we go. I mean, I could get onto the farm that way, but it looks a bit tight, so I'm just going to go over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we're going to hit that. No. Oh! The wheel on the harvest actually hit it. Right, here we go. Onto the field. It will automatically deploy. And I don't know if I have to do anything. Here we go. Harvest the field. Their potatoes. Those are... I'm pretty sure potatoes. But there you go. They just get left on the ground. So we don't actually pick them up or anything. But that's fine. They might actually have like workers come and pick them up maybe. Is there a machine that would pick it up that we can use? I don't really know. Alright, we go. Up and down we go and then we'll have finished harvesting this field. Okay, 97. 98, 99, are we going to complete it on this bit? Yes. Wow. There we go. The field is done. So, do we have to now deliver the stuff? I think we do. Are they going to be plopped there? No. Alright, now go check the warehouse. They're probably done packaging your harvest by now. Oh, and if you ever need more farming gear, check in with the trailer store. There's nothing these folks can't get for you. So, show rewards. Access to location. Gateway is now available. Right. Trailer store now available. So... The, the mission after that would be what? Um, 30 harvestless years. The warehouse. Where's the warehouse? Um, do, do, do. Buildings, Northern Tunnel. That will be another map. Okay, well, that was pretty cool. Um, that is farming. The basic, like, rudimentary stages of farming in... SnowRunner. It's with the new DLC. I'll leave a link to the new DLC in the description down below. If you want to see more of this, please let me know. Um, I would love to continue this, and I think it'd be brilliant in multiplayer. So, if you want to see some more SnowRunner, click the video on screen right now. I drive an RC car um, in the snowy Alaska region. Thank you very much my Ultra Sim fan, Omar Mandy. They support me on the YouTube membership. So you can get a YouTube membership on my channel for as little as $1.99 per month. And I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.